This is an educational presentation on the reward system and its role in motivation and emotion. It will give an overview of the reward system and the anatomy behind it before turning to the role it plays in motivation and emotion. The reward system is a series of interconnecting pathways in the brain that communicate through the neurotransmitter dopamine. This system is responsible for creating motivational drive, begins the conscious experience of positive emotions, and learns the association of an event or stimulus and its reward value. The beginning of the reward system is the ventral tegmental area where dopamine is manufactured and released from. It is then sent along dopaminergic pathways to different areas of the brain. The nucleus accumbens is where the biology and experience of reward first occurs, while the prefrontal cortex is involved in the conscious experience of pleasure and positive emotions. The orbitofrontal cortex processes and learns the value of the given reward, which generates future motivational drive. There are four dopaminergic pathways in which the reward system communicates through. The two major pathways fall under the mesocorticolimbic pathway. The mesolimbic pathway begins in the ventral tegmental area and projects to the ventral striatum containing the nucleus accumbens. The mesocortical pathway begins in the same spot but projects to the cortical areas of the brain to provide the conscious experience of pleasure and enable cognitive control and emotional response. So what role does the reward center play in motivation and emotion? Dopamine release in the reward system leads to the beginning of positively valenced emotions. This results in incentive salience, the desire to seek out the reward. The prefrontal cortex then sends action plans to the basal ganglia to carry out the motivated action. Have you ever been left disappointed by a holiday you had been planning for months and yet really enjoyed a spontaneous trip away on a weekend? This is due to reward prediction error. Dopamine release is impacted by our expectations, which is why the highly anticipated holiday can be disappointing if it fails to reach those heights and the surprising event can be highly rewarding due to the increased dopamine release from an unexpected positive experience. In fact, dopamine is first released when thinking about a future reward, which might mean that you borrowed some of the reward value of your holiday in fantasizing about it in the lead up, resulting in less pleasure during the actual experience. There is a three-part feedback loop that operates within the reward system known as the pleasure cycle. Consuming or experiencing a reward involves liking, which then turns to learning as the rewarding experience is encoded in your memory. This leads to the state of wanting in the future, characterized by a desire and the search for the reward that will again turn into liking, continuing the cycle. The reward system is crucial to healthy emotional and motivational states. Disruptions to the system can lead to problems with mood and behavior and have been implicated in several mental disorders, such as Parkinson's disease, ADHD, mood disorders, and addiction. In summary, the reward system is the neurochemistry behind pleasure and motivational drive. It communicates along a series of dopaminergic pathways in the brain. The reward system operates as a feedback loop by producing the biology and conscious experience of reward, learning the value of a given reward, and motivating us to seek out future rewards.